I'm Priscilla Barrera with the Investing News Network, and here with me today, it's Chloe Holsinger, Research Associate at Lux Research. Chloe, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're here at the Lithium Supply and Markets Conference in Las Vegas. What is your main takeaway so far? So, a few of the things that we've been hearing a lot about are the, how solid-state batteries are going to be the next big thing for lithium, um, and that lithium suppliers really need to get on this lithium hydroxide train. And if they're not preparing for those high nickel cathodes uh, demand with a lithium hydroxide supply, then they'll be left in the dust. And since it's the first time we're talking, can you let our audience know what Lux Research is all about and what is your role there? Sure. So Lux Research is a research advisory firm. So we advise our clients on how they should be uh, directing their uh, research and uh, investing arms um, and what's really coming around the bend for technology. So this helps our clients understand you know, what strategic opportunities there are for them, uh, what potential threats exist, and uh, really where they can grow as a business um, in terms of technology. So we highlight the types of technologies that we think will succeed, um, as well as the ones that we really think our clients should be staying away from. And um, what is the current state of the energy storage market? Do you see the market growing in the future? What is your outlook? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we see that the energy storage market is driven mostly by uh, mobility and stationary storage at the moment, um, although consumer electronics is obviously where, you know, where it all started. Um, our projections show that the energy storage market will grow from $30 billion dollars or $35 billion dollars in uh, 2016 to more than $100 billion dollars in 2020. Um, and that's a very conservative projection. Uh, we'll be updating this projection in early 2019. Um, and uh, excited to see what we, what we find out there. All right, and can you tell our audience, audience briefly why do you think solid-state batteries are the future? Sure. So solid-state batteries are a really rare innovation in the energy storage industry. Um, they enable the use of lithium, uh, metallic lithium anodes, which have a much higher energy density than graphite anodes. Um, and in addition, they also have this solid-state electrolyte uh, that's would replace the current flammable liquid electrolyte as well as the separator. And this makes the battery much safer. So in addition to enabling the use of metallic lithium anodes and increasing energy density, it's also a much inherently safer battery. Um, so you're getting better performance and better safety on the same technology, which is unheard of in other types of energy storage technologies. Um, and technology innovations. And so using solid state batteries would increase uh, gravimetric energy density to from 250 watt hours per kilogram to roughly 450 watt hours per kilogram, um, which is incredible and uh, would really extend the range for electric vehicles, um, would enable some uh, electric aircraft to fly further routes. Um, and it's, it's really exciting opportunity. All right. And why is it that we can use them today? And how long do you think it would take for the market to make a shift to this new technology? Sure. So right now, solid state batteries are still very much in development. Uh, the leaders that we see are producing them in volumes that are you know, pre-production. They're not even, or pre-pilot facilities. They're not even pilot facilities. Um, so it's, it's still a very new technology that doesn't have a mature supply chain. Um, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no supply chain that exists for metallic lithium anodes um, at the moment that can be scaled to mass production. Um, and a lot of these solid state electrolytes are still struggling with cycle life and uh, limiting dendrite, dendrite growth. And um, I think you sort of mentioned this, but what type of cathode chemistry is used in this type of battery? Will they use the same raw materials as the current lithium-ion batteries? Will it benefit 
maybe the question is, will it benefit one metal more than others? Yeah. So these solid-state batteries would use the same incumbent uh, NMC cathodes, NCA cathodes, uh, same, the same types of cathodes um, that incumbent lithium-ion batteries do today. Uh, but so these cathodes are progressing on their own uh, innovation trajectory towards these high nickel content cathodes formulations. Um, so NMC 811 instead of NMC 111. So the, those 811 cathodes would have eight times the amount of nickel in them as current existing NMC cathodes. Um, and we see that, that uh, innovation timeline progressing separately from the solid state battery timeline. Uh, but by all means, solid state batteries can use any of those uh, cathodes. So then with regards to the timeline for solid state battery adoption, we see initial adoption, we, we project initial adoption um, starting to happen in consumer electronics first in the early 2020s and in uh, the automotive industry in the a little bit later. Um, but we see these batteries becoming really much more uh, cost competitive, particularly for uh, consumer electronics in 2030. So there's still a, a long way to go before these are really widespread throughout the industry. All right. Um, and can you talk a bit about costs for these batteries and what are some of the challenges of producing, producing them at large scale? So nobody is really producing them at mass scale right now. Um, I think one of the main challenges is the metallic lithium anode. And as I mentioned earlier, the lack of a supply chain there. Um, currently, developers are sourcing their metallic lithium foils from uh, laboratory supply companies, which is not a scalable supply chain at all. Um, and to scale up um, that source of metallic lithium anodes is, uh, would be very difficult for lithium suppliers. Um, metallic lithium is not as easy to transport as lithium hydroxide or lithium carbonate. Um, it's very malleable and it's very reactive. Uh, so that is one problem that solid state batteries have to overcome um, before they can reach uh, mass commercialization. Right, and my final question for you today, based on your research, what are the top companies in the solid state sector? Which ones are the ones that are standing out right now? So there are a few companies that we are really looking forward to seeing how they do. Um, on the automotive side, uh, Toyota has filed a thousand patents um, on uh, solid state battery research and uh, with a specific focus on sulfide-based solid-state electrolytes and also including the manufacturability of these solid-state electrolytes. Uh, we also see BMW and Volkswagen heavily active in this space. Volkswagen uh, last week, I don't really know when this is getting put out, but recently uh, invested uh, $100 million in this company called QuantumScape. Um, which has been very stealthy about its solid-state battery development. Um, so it's hard to really understand if Volkswagen's really making a, a good business decision there, if they really just want to have something on the ground floor. Um, with regards to startups in this space that we view favorably, um, I think by far one of our favorites is uh, Ionic Materials, which is making a solid polymer electrolyte and ionic materials is differentiated from other companies that have been developing uh, solid polymer electrolytes in that uh, it's created this new class of polymer which instead of transporting uh, lithium ions through uh, chain mobility so through the actual polymer would move throughout the electrolyte um, ionic materials polymer does not move and so this increases performance, it has better uh, ionic conductivity, and uh, it can also operate better at room temperatures, uh, which is sort of key. Um, 
And then two other companies that we really get excited about are Solid Power Battery, which is developing a sulfide-based uh, electrolyte. And sulfides are a little bit more malleable than a lot of other inorganic ceramics, uh, like oxides and phosphides. So sulfides, uh, the, the CEO of Solid Power Battery says, um, can his, his uh, solid-state electrolyte can be manufactured um, using the same types of manufacturing equipment that incumbent lithium-ion batteries use today, um, which would make manufacturing much easier and adoption much faster. Uh, and then lastly, uh, Ion Storage Systems is developing an oxide-based solid-state electrolyte. So oxides are a lot more brittle than polymers or sulfides. And so instead of using a flexible pouch, um, pouch cell, like many other batteries do. Ion Storage System uh, is, has developed a uh, product design based on uh, solid oxide fuel cell designs. Uh, so it's a rigid cell stack. Um, and this would allow for the oxide, the brittle oxides to be used uh, safely and effectively. Um, so those are, those are the companies that, that we get most excited about in terms of their solid-state battery development. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me.